Hi, I'm Paul Groh, Director of the Estates Administration Department of the Law Offices of Daniel Hunt. If you're the surviving spouse or child of a deceased veteran of the United States military, you may be wondering which veteran benefits you and your family members qualify to receive. Navigating veterans' benefits can be confusing and overwhelming, but worth the time and effort if you qualify. Here's a guide to veterans' post-death benefits. How to access veteran survivor benefits. If your parent or spouse has died and you know or believe that they served time in the U.S. military, you may be entitled to receive a number of benefits. While navigating veteran benefits post-death may take time, the first step is to find proof of your loved one's military service. As a successor trustee, your first task will be locating their military discharge papers, such as their DD-214 or other separation documents. You will also need to obtain a copy of their death certificate from the county recorder's office. Next, you should determine which benefits may be available to the survivors of the veteran who died. Here are a few of the most common benefits available through the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Dependency and Indemnity Compensation That is a monthly tax-free payment distributed to surviving spouses and dependent children. This program is intended to compensate survivors when service members die during their service or as a result of a service-connected disability. The DIC benefit also compensates survivors of a veteran who are totally disabled from a service-connected disability before their death, even if the cause of death was unrelated to their service. The VA website offers resources to help you find out if you qualify and how much you are entitled to receive. Survivor's Pension Survivors of veterans who served during wartime can apply to receive a tax-free VA survivor's pension. The pension is a monthly payment to surviving spouses with modest incomes who have not remarried. The benefit is also available to unmarried dependent children of wartime veterans. The maximum pension rate is determined annually by Congress. Life insurance. Some veterans receive a life insurance policy through their service. After they pass away, you must fill out a VA form called SGLV8283 Claim for Death Benefits, along with any required documentation. Visit the VA Life Insurance Claim website for more details on the process for filing a life insurance claim. Veteran Funeral Benefits Veterans who are discharged honorably from military service can receive a military funeral honor ceremony. This includes folding and presenting the U.S. burial flag and the playing of taps. Almost all veterans can receive military funeral honors and memorial items at no cost, such as headstones, markers, medallions, burial flag, presidential memorial certificate. Some veterans are entitled to receive a burial allowance to cover the cost of a funeral, burial, and transportation costs. Veterans entitled to receive a burial allowance include those who received a VA pension or disability compensation while they were alive. Veteran Burial Benefits Your loved one may be eligible for burial in a national veteran cemetery if they were veterans of the armed forces, service members who died while on active duty, a veteran's spouse, a veteran's minor child. If you wish to bury your loved one in a national VA cemetery, you will first need to fill out the required paperwork to confirm their eligibility, select a VA cemetery where you wish to bury your loved one. The closest location near the Sacramento region is the Sacramento Valley National Cemetery located in Dixon, California. Schedule the burial at the VA cemetery of your choice. Are you in need of more guidance regarding post-death veteran benefits? An experienced trust in the state administration lawyer can help point you in the right direction as you search for information. Please contact our law firm for a no-cost consultation to help get you started in administering your loved one's estate. We hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any questions about estate administration, feel free to contact the law offices of Daniel Hunt using the information listed below. Thanks.